Hi guys, welcome back to Flat Water, Flat Earth. So I've had a, a really interesting couple of days, the last couple of days. What I was doing was rebuilding. I was making the part two of the follow-up of connection and Flat Earth connection. So as I was building this follow-up, uh, I went ahead and did it. I built it. It was really, I, I really enjoyed it. I thought it was a good movie. So really excited, go to put it out, and copyright ban. So no problem. You know, that happens sometimes. Things are banned worldwide. It's just a copyright thing. It's from BBC, and they usually heavily restrict their stuff. So no problem. I went back and took the whole documentary and took it apart into non-copyrightable pieces. I actually took the whole documentary and recombined it as photo images and then took audio and stripped it down bare and recombined it as well. So what's happened, this shows me that they're watching my channel and so what happened is I posted it and right away Gordon Brooks, the well-known shill, um, Gordon Brooks comes on and says, you know, whatever, his normal shilly stuff. Oh, this is, oh, this isn't banned. What? And says a bunch of crap. And I said, actually, this is the way it is, Gord. So anyways, as soon as I, I send him that message, not a second later, boom, the video goes down and it says inappropriate content. So I know full well that there's no inappropriate content. It's a BBC documentary. So I send back to him, to YouTube, there's not inappropriate content here. Um, then I, I repost it because I know that it's not inappropriate. I repost it on my other channel. It goes down as well. And th this is why this is such a problem, guys, is that they give you two copyright strikes, okay, and they can just hit you for it with anything, and then they'll take your whole channel down if you if you get another. You know, it's three strikes, you're out. So I don't want to have my channel taken down because of a flimsy movie. So I've gone ahead, rebuilt the movie now three, four times and put it up, and each time it comes up with a copyright strike even when it's completely not copyrightable. So YouTube is obviously, they don't want this information out. Because in this documentary, he clearly lays out the fact that sea travel was linked to the clock. And he clearly lays it out how they were developing the clock only to do better sea travel. And that it, it kind of confirms what I'm been saying that that it may have been them finding out about the North Pole that actually allowed them to invent clocks. And you can see it in the movie that that this movie that I'm going to link in the bottom. This is why it's hilarious that they would block it because you're going to watch it anyways. If you're if you care, you're going to want to see it anyways. It's going to be right here. So the link will be in the bottom. It's at Vimeo. That's the only place that they'll let anybody host it, and I don't even think it's going to be up there for very long. One of the things that I'm looking at is I've seen that a guy has actually talked to uh, Richard Burke, the uh, uh, the presenter of that show, and I may see what I can do with that to that end. See what we can do to release it because uh, having watched another interview with Mr. Burke, he is he has come around and talks about openly that he believes in conspiracy theory and that the history that he presents in Connections is not the humdrum history that he lays out in Connections, that there is more going on. And you can see that when you watch the movie Connections, you can see that he's hinting towards uh, larger implications of, of the stuff that he's talking about. He's always talking about that the British Empire... Well, he, you can see it yourself. I, I recommend that anybody watch the Connections series and start with this one this is one of the first ones this is 1978 and it's called the wheel of fortune so that's the one that they are trying to block me from from showing you guys and it's because it really ties this stuff together it shows you and this is what i'm going to get into right here it shows you that al mansur the founder of baghdad caliph al mansur was healed by astronomy and by astronomical means and charts and he was fully healed and obviously in the show he doesn't get into it as much as he could but 
he says to you, it sounds like hogwash, doesn't it? But then history records that he got better, that he was sick and he, he got better. And it was from astronomical, astrological charts that it was done. Here you can see the vaulted dome and he's showing you the wheel of fortune is the vaulted dome as it spins above your head. And that's what the show, the wheel of fortune, is about. Now what's interesting that's really neat here, it's almost like Mr. Burke knew that this was coming because the first show of connections, the one that, that really lays that out clearly, that's, that's so banned, that's so blocked, um, that one is owned by BBC and and you can't air it. But his other versions of connections are airable and what he's done is he's taken the other parts of the Wheel of Fortune and kind of combined them piecemeal into the other episodes of Connections. So what I need to do now, and this is another part of what I intended to do, this is why this has taken so long for this one to come out, is all, the, all these other things have come up from it and it's forced me down these other pathways, sort of, um, which is often what happens when you're doing these things. So as he's as that's happened now what I what I have to do is go back and take those episodes and I'll break those pieces down and I'll reconstitute this documentary Wheel of Fortune using the pieces that he has left out to the public it's really funny that they would block this this is the BBC that we're talking about here and they're supposed to be the the parent news organization on the planet they're supposed to be the biggest yeah I know on the plane they're the biggest, uh, supposed to be the biggest mother news organization. And the show aired on PBS. It's public broadcasting. So, kind of funny that they'll air something on public broadcast and then lock it down 30 years later and tell us that we can't watch it. So, and this is what I talked about in a little bit in the last uh, piece that I did, that, that isn't it funny that at the time it made great sense for them to release this it was the the go-to explanation for the way that things were going and but now when you look back at it if you listen to the connections that he makes and you listen to it over again you say gee it doesn't really add up and so we'll get into that a little further as well so I would recommend you go back and watch Connections. If you don't want to, there's there's several hours, several dozen hours, I think, maybe two dozen hours worth of shows. There's Connections 1, Connections 2, and 3, um, The Wheel of Fortune, um, and then he's done a bunch of other pieces that were moon pieces. And that, those ones are interesting as well because, well, I don't want to give too much away here, but he really kind of hammers on the Apollo guys and says things like, how do we know that you went? And then the next documentary, either the one before or the one after the moon, he's actually talking about how do you know what you know? And it's a really great show. I'm going to take that one too. It's about our senses and about how we know about reality. And it gets into relativity and a lot of Einstein stuff. And he goes through it. But you can tell that what he's getting at see there's the, there's the point of view of the producers and the writers in his show that and the people that are paying for the show where they want him to go down a certain pathway with what he's talking about but you can see that what he's doing is writing in his own little bits of what he wants to have said in there mr burke so some of the things that he says are how do you know for sure that uh that they've been to the moon you know this is what your senses tell you they do one where they show a guy stumbling around in a room and he's kidnapped and his eyes are covered and because of the plants and the things in the room the music that's playing the sound effects that are playing in the room a cigar burning in an ashtray he thinks that he's in Havana Cuba or somewhere else meanwhile he's just in his living room in LA and they're fooling him with his senses his sensory deprivation and so it's an interesting parallel to the way that they fooled people with space travel to begin with and the way that they built the story up piece by piece and made people believe that they were going into space when really we haven't left the plane so it's an interesting parallel there and he draws quite a few of those very interesting parallels so 
that's something else that we'll I'll try to come back to. So, unfortunately, I can't actually play you any of that show. They will block it. Couple of things there. They're really watching my channel. They really want to put it down. And this is why my content's been limited lately. Um, I don't want to take any more risks. I have a lot of good stuff up there that I don't want to risk it going down and having to rebuild the channel. So, that's why there's going to be a lot less things produced there. What I will do, though, is I'm going back to just doing some readings and some some standard stuff that's just, uh, it'll be my production, so they can't do anything about uh, copyright on my own my own productions. Which is why I kind of got upset that they you know, I really put the work into this last one and really built it up so that there was no way they could copyright strike it, and yet they still inappropriate content which I fought immediately, but uh, we're yet to see what's going to happen with that. The video has just stayed down, so I don't think they're going to let it go. I don't think they're going to drop it. They're going to... They uh, they do not want this piece to air, because Burke clearly states in it that world travel is linked to the creation of the clock, and that they had no clue. And there's a lot of other pieces in there that he really ties in. He talks about Columbia or Columbus, sorry, and and the true motivations for why people uh, found the New World. And those, the things that he talks about in there are not the, the modern narration on that. They're not the modern narrative. They don't fit with that. So, I would love to air any of this thing to you guys. It's just awesome, the way that he says it, the way that he places it together. So, what I'm going to do then is we're going to just go through it right here, piece by piece, and I'll just tell you what he's saying as he goes through it. So right here he's pointing at the vaulted dome and showing you the six signs on one side of the earth, and that it's hemispheric, that's half the hemisphere, and then six on the other side, and then you spin the wheel of fortune, and then he shows, it's actually based in a planetarium, and he shows you,